Today, last night, I heard another chapter in a bit from Grandmada. In this chapter, before the bit, okay, in this chapter, Grandma was saying, we're going back into the olden time. Grandma, you never left the olden time. So, there was no... So, Grandma had to... So Joey and Mary Alice had to go up get the butter churn and get some more clothes. Time dresses. Joey and Mary Alice had found the butter churn, small padding dresses, and Mary Alice had found... Joey had found a nice suit with a hat and pants. Mary Alice had found a beautiful dress, but it had a bustle in the back. Then she, then they, then Mary Alice said, "Let's go and try these on, Joey." So they went into their bedrooms. They all, they both stripped down to basically their undergarments. Joey had put on the uh, suit and the pants and the coat, and he had taken the hat, the top the cap, and tuck it, tucked it under his arm. Mary Alice came out in the beautiful, flumpy wedding dress. Then they went to show Grandma. Yet, Grandma almost fell back speechless. Those were the clothes that she and Grandpa Dado had worn on their wedding day. That's the end of that part. The next part is when Joey goes off. Jupiter. So Joey is preparing to go get prepared to go into the Second World War. He must be old enough to go into the war in this chapter. In this no ending part. It's called the troop train. Joey is on the train getting prepared to go to the second go into the second world war as a pa, as a flyer. He is going the train is going through grandma's town. It's not stopping, it's just sort of going through. The train never really officially stopped when it was going through grandma's town. He decided to send grandma a telegram, which is way you send messages because there was no such things as phones back then. When grandma, grandma didn't know what car Joey was in, so she just stood there waving at every car on bot. Joey did wave back and that is the end of A Long Way From Chicago by Richard Peck.